This is Easy Graham coming to you with another video here. We're going to be showing you how to set up Outlook on your iPhone. We've been receiving a lot of requests recently for this, so we wanted to set up a video to help you guys with it. As you can see here, you'll be able to see a screen of the iPhone we'll be setting this up on and show you and walk you through how to set up an IMF account on this. A lot of people tend to like to set up Outlook because it is a free app you can get on the phone, as well as it does give you the option to set up IMAP accounts, which means you can synchronize up a bunch of accounts together along with your personal account. Some people like to set up with their business accounts, and we're going to be showing you how to do it. So we want to start off from the main screen, as you can see there, and go to the Outlook app. Just open it up. For this case here, we haven't set up anything on it, so this should be the normal first screen you'll see, and it'll be asking for your email address. If you've set up another account already within your Outlook, you can actually go ahead and click on a little menu button. It'll be the three line icon at the top left, in which case you'll then get a little symbol, which will be an envelope with a plus symbol on it. You can go through and click that to add another account, in which case you should end up at the same screen here. So we're gonna be starting off by just adding an account here. So we're gonna be putting it in. Click on Add Account. It'll try and automatically set it up for you, and this may or may not work. It depends here, in which case it started to pull some of the settings here, so that was good for us. If you don't see the settings appear automatically, you'll get another screen, which will ask you if you want to set it up automatically. You want to click on that button, and then it will ask you which type of account you want to set up. You can click on where it says I'm up, and it should land you at the same screen we're looking at here. With the email address already put in, the next thing it's going to ask you is the password, and you're going to want to put in your password here. We're just going to put this in ourselves. followed by your display name. Your display name is anything you want to show. It's your choice, you can put in anything there. It is included when you do send an email across, so you do want to keep that in mind, but you can quite put in anything you wish. The description box is, again, your actual choice. It's used to differentiate which account is which, so you can go through and put in anything you want in this box. If you have more than one account, most people tend to either use the email address itself or maybe the business name or the account name just to differentiate which one is which. You may even want to say personal if you're using your other accounts for business just to easily separate which one is which. Next thing you want to do is want to go down to the advanced settings and want to select that on there. You can actually type it and it should swipe it automatically for you, but you can swipe it across to the right automatically as well. Next thing it's going to do is we need to put in the actual server. In this case here, it filled in the server information for us, but we actually don't want to put, take the information there. We're going to erase that. We're going to type it in ourselves. So for this information, this is what you would find within your .easy account. If you set up the email address, it should actually email the information to you, but you can also contact our support if you're not sure where to find this, and we can actually give you the information for this so that you can easily get this added. We're just going to put this in ourselves now. And for most of you, you should have a similar looking address there. It should be DPRHCP and then followed by a number, which would be your actual server. After that, it'll have the username and password already filled in for you. This should be your username and password, which is just your email address and password itself. Very simple and easy to do. And then down here for the IMAP server, we want to fill this in ourselves as well. And again, yours may or may not have something filled in there by default. If it does, you just want to make sure it is the correct one. If it doesn't have something in there, you want to put it in yourself. And with that in there, you then want to go ahead and just click on sign in. That'll double check to make sure all of the information is correct. And there you go, it's confirmed it and asks us if we want to set up another account. In this case, we're only setting up the ones we want to click on maybe later. And then it's going to ask you if you want to set up a focused inbox or other information. We're going to skip this for now, but you can definitely configure it if you want. And with that here, the last thing it'll do is ask you if you want to enable notifications. These are the pop-ups that will come on your screen to let you know if there's emails, like say if your phone is off, things like that. So you can turn these on if you want. In this case, we're going to say no thanks, just because we don't need it for the demo. And with this, the inbox is here, and we can see any messages. You can click on the message, and you can add accounts or go through any of your actual folders. The ones here at the top are your actual IMAP folders, which are the ones on the server. And then the folders below are the ones that are actually located on your iPhone, so you can move any kind of an email there if you want to. And that'll go through and set that up. 
and then you can go into the settings there if you want to tweak any of the actual settings itself such as notifications whether this is your default account what do you want a signature there so you have a whole bunch of options you can customize it as you want and then in this case here you can see there's a demo email in there so it'll automatically let you in and if you've used Outlook or Hotmail before you can tell it's got the focused and the other box which is fairly standard for their system which you can find your email in those and it'll filter it out you can write a message by clicking on the top icon there and just write it standard wise just like normal and with that you've got it all set up and you can send and receive email just like normal if you run into any problems with it you can contact our support and we'll be more than happy to help you out with setting that up or if you have any questions about it you can definitely ask us as well thank you for watching